in the week. That is the front door of Downing Street where Cabinet are meeting now. So it's 9 o'clock this morning, London time. That is going to be coming up to eight hours. That is extraordinary. And uh, all eyes will be on that front door when ministers leave. But for now, I am joined by Professor Emmy van Derzen, uh, who is a psychologist and an expert in, in dealing with uh, stressed patients. And I gather you've been having uh, people come to you stressed about Brexit. Who are they and what are they worried about? Right, so from the very moment of the referendum, EU 27 citizens have found it very difficult to cope with the change in their circumstances and two years ago we set up a specialist clinic to help them deal with their depression and their anxiety which has been caused by the Brexit situation which of course has left them very vulnerable and very insecure. Are these people that perhaps might have mental health issues anyway? No, very few of them are people who had previous mental health issues. These are new mental health issues absolutely triggered by the insecurity of Brexit. What and is it they're specifically worried about? What do yeah. they say to you? Well, it's different for different people, obviously, but EU27 citizens have been treated in a very different way than they were treated previously. So they find themselves being questioned by people. Some people have been told to leave or to go back to their home country. Their home country is here. They've put their roots down, they're part of the people and they have been treated very disrespectfully. So just very briefly, how do you help? What do you say to them? So what helps is for them to realize it's not their fault. It's not because they came here or they made a mistake. It's the political situation. It's the society as it is changing because of Brexit. And so they need to get perspective on this. And they also need to link up with each other so that they don't feel so alone anymore and so upset by themselves hiding away any, in fear. any political figures coming to you as patients well that might be the case of course i can't talk about that but i would certainly recommend that our mps also look into their stress levels because they're under a lot of stress at the moment they are indeed yeah. professor emmy van der and thank you very much indeed for joining us here on uh, global and we will be keeping you right up to date with what emerges from that cabinet the stress levels here have been immense uh, amongst politicians. Let's see if a solution can be reached ahead of that deadline next week. We'll be back in a few moments, but for now, thanks for watching from West.